Photoshop is also a great tool for painting purposes with its famous Photoshop brushes. But maybe not each of you could have known that the art history brushes in Photoshop can do a real magic by transforming your photographs into beautiful painting, like this. And what is more important, this tool is very easy and fun to use. In this course, I will show you how to turn these kind of images into paintings. By the way, all of these photos I made myself, except this photo of Mickey Jagger. Moreover, what is also important, I will share with you my set of art history brushes, which I tailor made specifically for this course and for you, and which I will use in this course to create artworks from my photos and to teach you how to do that. You can exclusively download this brush set from this course, and it is called Yuri Art History Brushes. HB. HB stands for Art History Brush. Double click on this file and, and you will have it uploaded here in the brush preset panel. In my brush set I have around 40 art history brushes which I made. I put them together in different categories based on their texture, look and feel. We usually start painting with larger brush and then gradually go down to medium for a little bit more details and for small for finer details. That's how I usually paint with these brushes. And we have this kind of nice texture, brush strokes and uh, and we are doing this wide underpainting. Here we have trees. And let me go down. Here we have some little house. and little bridge and some bushes here something like that it just gives us some leaves on the trees which is pretty nice just somewhere not everywhere yeah it gives a little bit more details here on these uh, bushes maybe on the bridge yes and I think I'm gonna use this detail, canvas detail brush. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm gonna just put it somewhere, not everywhere, but on some places. Let me zoom in and see how it works. Just on the churches to define some shapes and outlines. It's better if you zoom out. We can add saturation to this lightness. It's doing like a highlight, right? And now we have the final image. Before, I'm gonna add a new layer. Then I think I'm gonna uncheck. I'm gonna take another brush from the Impress collection. And we can see that it's making pretty nice impressionistic portrait of Mickey Jagger. Underpainting brush. Let's take the number two and paint there. So you see that we kind of underpainting the canvas texture beyond this. Let's try this small too. 
and focus on his eyes just to give the, his eye, eyes a life. Another eye. But it adds really, really nice texture on top of it. Just to compare this and like this. And now we have Mickey Chugger. I think it's pretty nice portrait. I, I like the authentic look of this, so let's try to paint it. Another brush, which is large too. No, that's interesting. It's quite nice. For this type of image, it looks very nice. I like it. And plays sort of under painting and texture feel. You see that we put it underneath and we have some like texture popping up through the through this layer looks pretty nice I liked it so we used the large brushes without the medium brushes and then we used again this just small brush detail brush to make some outlines and provide depth to the image okay